Hey there, folks and friends. Connecting dots here, Saturday, February the 8th, Fukushima Day 1065. Okay, so if you've been following along here on my YouTube channel, because I have mentioned many times that uh, uh, many of you complain that Google is not sending out your upload notification. So I make a video, you're supposed to get a notification right away. Many of you don't get the notification. Others mention how they don't get it up to two, three days later. So I, I recommended you come directly to my YouTube channel. And if you have, you may have noticed this video. And if not, don't be surprised. I've noticed it's been censored as I look around on my YouTube channel on different computers at different locations around my own city. Um, I recommend you check out this video and there's more information at, at my website on cures on cancer. Now uh, my point of all this video here and I'll get into a lot more of this uh, Google censorship uh, later on in this video. If you've been following my Fukushima Day videos here, I've been uh, working or uh, mentioning how I was concerned about the strontium levels, strontium 90 specifically, uh, <coughs> where uh, researchers in, in uh, Germany had discovered that the, the strontium 90s uh, during a uh, Fukushima meltdown uh, would uh, escalate for the next 5,000 days after the meltdown and would continue spewing out for the next uh, 50,000 days or so. Well, it turns out even in this latest video where I talk about the, the data that was released by TEPCO on how much of the levels it raised in, turns out it's much higher folks than what they said. I'll get into that right away, but before I get into that, I want to talk on another topic that I've been uh, following along here since uh, very beginning days. And that's the Gulf oil spill. So here Reuters is talking how they're saying that the new municipal bond issuance is set to fall to around 3.3 billion next week with the state of Louisiana issuing an insurance, an assurance on costs related to the 2010 oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico before a planned sale of nearly 500 million of state back debt. Now it goes on to say here that the, the cost of the cleanup could reach more than $40 billion. Now every time there's money involved, what do you have? corruption and sure enough we have it in this case okay so in this latest story they're talking about how uh, one of the federal judges yeah how he's implicated here there's a yeah it's not good so this all came about here with the uh, uh, the conviction of a former BP engineer Kurt Mix uh, his lawyer has filed papers asking the judge Duval to recuse himself that means pull away from the, uh, excuse himself from the court case uh, in some cases they're also fined and uh, now in this uh, story here they go on to say here how the defense has been unable to identify any case that looks remotely like this namely one where the district judge and his lead law worker a law clerk which by the way is his wife in this case are active litigants in a highly publicized civil case worth billions of dollars that is unfolding in the courtroom literally next door and through their legal representatives in that civil case are actually advocating in favor for the very same arguments that the prosecutors have been making for over a year against a criminal defendant over whose case the district judge is presiding and on whose case the law clerk is working. Yes, folks, can you believe it? No surprise here, eh? Always corruption. So here's the top story here. TEPCO uh, admits now or, or says that the Fukushima radiation levels underestimated by five times. Yes, five times. And I, I just, what can I say? I, I've talked about this many times, how eventually they'll come clean. It just takes a long time, sometimes years. Anyways, specifically, they're talking about strontium-90. Okay, originally they were saying it was 900,000. Yeah, now they're saying there's uh, five million. Unbelievable. These people, when will they ever come clean? I don't know, but I'm afraid it's going to be way too late before we all get the truth on this. Anyways, five million becquerels of strontium per liter. So this ongoing Fukushima meltdown with uh, uh, the uh, levels of strontium uh, peaking in the future, like I mentioned in my past videos, it's coming, folks. We're getting more and more data showing that this is an ongoing eventuality that will come to uh, unfold before everyone's eyes, unfortunately. Okay, and what's uh, next here? What's new, I should say? Uh, quick, uh, two quakes strike near Fukushima. Now, this is reported here by uh, RT News. Now, you know, I've been out here on... Uh, oops, sorry, that's my next story. I've been out here uh, doing these uh, stories here on... The Gulf oil spill, uh, I warned about the 2008 stock market crash six months earlier before it happened. Uh, I've talked about the rise of silver uh, months before uh, the mainstream YouTube gang jumped on it and uh, pumped the crap out of it. I was talking about it back when it was like $14, $15 an ounce, $17, $20 an ounce. 
Uh, anyhow, I've posted many videos on different topics here, all for free. And uh, one of the things I've noticed over the years is the Mm, the connections and how they all connect and how they tell one story and on another line they're telling another story and wait till you see what I found interesting in the information I've discovered over the years. Okay so as you saw here the next story was the French court orders Google to display fine for privacy breach for all those to see and yes folks and they even tried to stop it too they went for an emergency appeal. So it says here that the uh, they lost her case and they were fined uh, 150,000 euros, which is roughly $204,000 for violating data collection laws. That's a drop in the bucket for them. Anyways, it goes on to say here how they lost an emergency appeal. And uh, yeah, if you go to Google France, what do you see? Communiquer la formation restreinte de la Commission nationale de l'informatique et des libertés a condamné la société de Google à 150 000 euros d'amende pour manquement à la loi. Yes, folks, they've been nailed. And the same thing happened up here in Canada and British Columbia last month. There was a gentleman here who, back in October 2012, had been doing uh, research online for uh, sleep apnea. And he was receiving uh, uh, Google mail respo uh, responses in his Gmail box. And turns out Google was reading his email, like they've been reading yours right now if you have a Gmail account. And it turns out that uh, for the next following, I think he said a month or two, everywhere he went online, he was hit with Google ads for sleep apnea. So he won his court case, you know, and, and spying never ends, folks. Even here in Canada, look at, this is a recent story here, again, February the 6th, where the RCMP and CSIS accused of violating Charter of Rights. Now, I'll have to make another video here on my own personal information that I know about the RCMP and the corruption within Canada. And uh, <clears throat> you folks are going to get a wide awakening to the level of corruption here it's disgusting so it's not only in Canada here this story here uh, RT News and I'll get into that hold on uh, they're talking about how New York police uh, officers are going to reportedly are they're going to be testing the Google glasses I'm like oh wow okay you know I got to check into this I start reading the ad and did you notice I'm like whoa hold on a second uh, Kentucky town to pay police chief in bitcoins what's that all about so yeah, sure enough, a Kentucky town is the paid police chief in bitcoins. Can you believe it? I, I, personally, I would not take it and wait till I show you the graph. You'll understand why. Common sense says something's fishy about this bitcoin, which is one of the reasons why I've never pumped it. I've always been about solid currency. They may make a solid bitcoin looking like it's made out of gold, but fa the fact is it's not gold. It's a digital currency, and anyone who knows anything about the New World Order agenda, what do they want? A digital for form of currency, a one world currency which is digital. Hello, Bitcoin. Bit stupid if you're pumping that crap, and I've never pumped it. If you want to make a money off the market, that's fine, but I'm not into making money. I want to hold my wealth, so I've been promoting gold and silver. Now you may have noticed story here, the story here how it says city employees in Visco could receive could be receiving their paychecks in the form, but then it goes on to say that uh, on Monday it'll begin compensating the chief of police. So that's only one person here that's going to be receiving their uh, paycheck in uh, bitcoins. Yeah, so, oh, look at that. They even got a silver bitcoin. Wow, at the Cypress University. Who's going to the Cypress University? <laughs> I think someone at Cypress just wants to make some cash. Anyhow, oh, the first house, Canadian house on bitcoins. Can you imagine that, buying house on bitcoins? How stable is it? Very unstable. So why would you want to get paid one day and then have your savings account drop? It's extremely unstable and anyone who's been following this, this whole Bitcoin thing will realize that this all started with the silver guys. The ones that were out here that got popular promoting silver saying we need a sound currency, no fiat which is based on nothing. Yeah, they kept pumping it and again just recently they started pumping the crap out of it. I mean there's no other reason why. It's not like people around the world are suddenly starting to use bitcoins, except those that are being told by their YouTubers to get into it. Here's what it done in six months. In the last six months, we're talking, uh, you know, in October, a little over $200, spiked over $1,200, dropped back down to almost $650. Uh, it's a rock and roll up and down. Why? Because somebody's making money off this, folks. I hope you understand. This is a invisible coin. This is the same as a, Bar a Mario coin in any of your games, Warcraft, you name it. Same thing, same blend. 
Okay, so not only have we had these so-called um, uh, Bitcoin pumpers uh, originally start off as sound currency uh, silver or gold pumpers, but now they've turned their backs on us and said, hey, get into Bitcoins, you know, that's the future. I don't think so. I'm not going to fall in for a new world order ploy. No, thank you. And as far as the RT thing here, many of these so-called truthers, you know, they're all promoting, you know, you want to protect your privacy. Oh, even RT, you know, protect, protect your privacy, install this. Uh, I don't think so, folks. Question more is what I do all the time. And when they posted this story here, how the, the Guardian destroys Snowden files. Oh, I, what's going on here? Oh, look at this. This site uses cookies. By continuing to browse this site, you are agreeing to the use of our cookies. Find out more. I think you should find out more. And if you have a notice here at the top here, I have this ghost tree on every page I've showed so far. It tells you how many people are tracking me or attempting to track me. Okay. Oh, look, look, look at three Googles. I hope you pay attention. Extremely important. It's one of the things I try to bring attention on Realist News. But uh, unfortunately, you get banned there because... They're not real truthers. Anyways, anyone who fell for this story, do you really believe, honestly, that by them showing pictures of a destroyed computer, that suddenly we're to believe that all these files have all destroyed, are the hard drives? You're going to tell me they weren't intelligent enough to download them somewhere else on another hard drive? My God. Anyways, I hope you folks are awake to this stuff, because I don't buy this BS. So on the surface, our team uses like many others here that like to pretend that they're promoting the truth, but it's a, uh, what do you call it, line by omission and not really covering the whole story. Like you'll never hear how a story on Putin here and how the freedom of the press, what, in 2013 alone, I think it was 71 independent reporters were kidnapped or killed in, 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 in Putin land. You'll never hear RT talk about that stuff, but they'll point out all the problems with the America. No problem there, you know, and like I said, they're always quick to point out you're being watched, you're being surveyed, blah, 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 blah. Now watch the NSA. Oh, look to the side here. Political ticking with Larry King. Where did I hear that name before? Hello? Are you folks realizing what's going on here? Anyways, most of us left mainstream news because we realize they're lying, they're corrupt, they're controlled by corporations. You never get the truth when they're in it for their money. They're corrupt. And sure enough, Larry King currently hosts, you know, uh, on now on Hulu and RT America, Monday, Friday, Tuesday, and fr Wednesday and Friday. And sure enough, a weekly political talk show Thursday evenings on RT America. <laughs> Are you falling for this stuff? I hope not. Anyways, I, uh, my... I really questioned RT back in the day. I question more, absolutely. When they start promoting on, you may have seen him on TV here, they promote this guy here, Sir Richard Branson, the owner of Virgin, Virgin Mobile. Anyways, uh, the original interview was taken back in 2010, I think, I believe, or 2011. And Sir Bran Richard Branson here talks uh, how he was disappointed with the younger generation, how they had not done enough to stop um, the, uh, the war, the Gulf War, the Iraq War absolutely disgusting this guy has billions of dollars what did he do nothing and he's going to blame the young, younger generations he could have promoted free i don't know free cell phones to everyone who wants to try and stop the war or something something he could have came up with some kind of marketing for these billionaires to sit there and point their fingers at us and tell us how we haven't done enough ha <laughs> ha you'll only hear that crap on rt news because you're not going to hear me promote these scammers it's the same thing with Alex Jones, how he'll tell you that the global warming is a lie. He'll have Pierce Corbin on there. And the next minute he has Max Kaiser promoting Bitcoins and telling you you're a nutcase if you believe in global warming. I meant to say that he thinks we're nutcases because we don't believe in global warming. Beware, folks. Beware of what news source you're listening to because even the alternative news source has been psyoped. Uh, there's no doubt about it here. These guys are playing both sides of the fence. It's all about pretending they're alternative media just so they can what? Make money off it. Money bombs. Run ads. Track you. Beware. Stay informed. Take care, folks. You cannot filter it out. It is in you. You are listening. Like when the voice inside your head says something, you are listening. It's, it's not even a choice because it's, it's inside, right? And it's, it's kind of trippy.